I'm Christopher Zweig, and welcome to the new season of CJ at the Movies. I know we're in a dark crisis with the coronavirus and all, but there's still plenty of movies to stream on the internet, starting with the new Netflix release of Crip Camp. Let's take a look. This is the first great documentary of the year and the decade about a summer camp for disabled teens in the 1970s called Camp Jeanette, which changes their lives for the better. And one of the campers was Jim Librick, a sound designer and mixer who was born with spina bifida and serves as the narrator and co-director. At camp, I was in a whole other world. My first girlfriend, and I'm popular, and I'm... And I'm going back to this world in which it's hard to get around. Sometimes I would just, like, go home after high school and go to bed for a few hours and just get away from the world. I have friends, but I'm the only person with a disability. I had to try to adapt. I had to fit into this world that wasn't built for me. It never dawned on me that the world was ever going to change. Another camper was Judy Human, who suffered from polio and became the president of the political organization Disabled in Action, which fought for the rights of equality for disabled people. I think one of the real problems is, is that when you grow up being disabled, um, it's, it's the fact that you're not considered either a man or a woman. Mm -hmm. And even the, the, the beginning of any kind of a relationship, you know, beginning at all, because you're just thought of as a disabled person, you know, person being sec yeah, second and asexual, and can you do this and can you do that? Directed by both Lee Brick and Nicole Newham, and produced by Barack and Michelle Obama, Crip Camp is a movie that shows us the beauty inside these disabled people, and the documentary shows us their fight for equality. I'm an autistic film critic, so I understand their harsh realities of being judged as animals or idiots, but everyone is equal in their own unique ways. It's about overpowering cynicism and uses every emotion in our hearts and souls to represent everyone's aspects and feelings. This is one of the year's best films, and again, it's available on Netflix, so don't miss it. Well, that's my four-star review of Crip Camp. If you like this review and other reviews coming up, please subscribe to my channels, and you can also read my written material at cjatthemovies.com. I'm Christopher Zweig. Stay strong, and I'll see you at the movies whenever this virus goes away. Bye.